Hello everyone, welcome back, and uh, I have something special today. As you can see, I have a Lunchables with me. So this Lunchables is the Super Mario Maker one. We're going to check it out right now. Last time I did it, I got a fair level of views, and I was like, you know, people want to check this out, I will, I will gladly show it. So it says there's a code inside, and I tried to look for the code last time. So... We'll see if there is indeed a code on the inside. Uh, so far, I'm not seeing it. So, and unfortunately, I'm probably going to have to disassemble this box. It says, look inside for code. So far, I'm not seeing it still. Uh, I see a number there. Inside for code. Yeah, I'm not finding it. Lunchables, you guys need to do a better job of putting your codes inside. Okay, I'm gonna disassemble this box and show you. Oh, I see it! I see a code. Alright, so I found the code inside the box. It's not very well done, in my opinion, but I'll show you the code. It's just a bunch of num uh, well letters and a few numbers, but I will show it. So the first person that watches this video will get the code. So if you are the first, you might get lucky. So here it is. There's the code. That's what I found on the inside of this box. So that's where it is. And if you are the first one to get it, then you got it. So it says, look inside for code. No purchase necessary. Many will enter. Few will win. Yada, yada, yada. So yeah, that's the only thing that I saw. This is really misleading because you don't know if this is a code or if this is just like some kind of thing they just slapped on because it's an, another kind. I mean, it, it, it should say this is the Super Mario Maker code. It just would be a bit more transparent to me. It just, when I see it just as is, it just looks a little like, is this the code or is this not the code? I just wanted a little more definition. But if it is, then, hey, you guys will let me know, right? Anyway, moving on. So now we've got, what did they give us? They gave us Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. And they gave us cheese, turkey, and it looks like crackers. And... I think some of you butchered me on my claim that I butchered the pronunciation. Is it Capri or Capri Sun? I'm pretty sure it's Capri Sun, but if it's not, I'm going to look up the the uh, pronunciation the, at the end of this video and see it, which one it is. But I'm pretty sure as a kid we said Cap... I think it's Capri Sun. I have heard people kind of coming back and forth, but I feel like when it comes to pronunciations. I mean, you might as well make real pronunciations on Pokemon, like Ferrothorn or Ferrothorn. Or, hey, why don't you talk about um, Arceus or Arceus or Arceus? And it's, it's Arceus, if you're wondering about that one. And sometimes I even thought Ray, Rayquaza instead of Rayquaza. But, you know, not every pronunciation is, is exact. Although Capri and Capri is not the most butchered of the offensive um, pronunciations. I've heard worse. All right. Uh, so opening this Reese's Peanut Butter Cup is a bit of a... Oh, there it is. Now that's easy. So if you look at the nutritional facts, it says that each package has 330 calories on it. So this is uh, just a breakdown of it. And seven grams of saturated fat. That's a little, that's a little high for a meal. But usually I would say they try to get around 20 grams of saturated and that's not bad. All right, so usually you have to use like two pieces of cheese and two pieces of turkey for every two crackers. So, if I do that, 
Mm-hmm. Pretty good overall. Mm -hmm. So now we have the Reese's Peanut Butter Cup. to our second sandwich and then we got our last one so yeah they basically give you six pieces of turkey six pieces of cheese so strategic strategically you want to do two pieces of cheese two pieces of turkey and then two crackers and you get the best benefit Yeah, it says a hundred percent of your vitamin C. About twenty five grams of sugar. That must be mainly the, the Reese's cup and the Capri Sun. Those are probably what's giving most of the sugar. But all in all, I don't think the lunchables is the worst thing you could eat because it is very the the one thing about uh lunchables is the portion size is actually fairly good. If you go to a McDonald's and you get a Big Mac, the portion size is probably bigger than it should be. And this is actually not too bad. I mean, even though this is probably the worst offender, but again, it's only one Reese's cup. It's not like two or three or four. And even this, like if this, if this was a kid's lunch, you could do a lot worse. I don't think it's like healthy, but I could see if a parent gave this for like a Friday. I mean, when I was when I was 10, 11, and I was in middle school, I would beg my parents to get me the Pokemon one. And it didn't really, honestly, the pizzas were, they looked nice in terms of the attractiveness of it. Like, cause you'd want to have pizza. Pizza's a very hot food item for kids, but it's just not, it's not a very good pizza though, so this is the last one. Now we got Capri Sun. Okay, this straw is always annoying to open for some reason. Oh, there we go. And I don't know if I did say this in a video prior, but when I was eight, I had problems opening uh, Capri Sun, and I would really just stab the crap out of it, and even now you can notice I'm still like, it's not an easy thing to insert the straw in, but when I was eight, I told my teacher, we should send a letter and make them easy open. I'm surprised they don't say that, they don't advertise that anymore. Because these are still really not easy to open. And also I do wonder about the uh, content of this. Okay. It should be on the nutritional facts. Okay, so there we go. So, if you want, this is actually a really great lesson. If you want to know the content of your food, the first item is going to be the highest, and the lowest item is going to be the last. It's going to be the least. So if you read 
mixed fruit flavored juice that's this. It says filtered water, sugar. So yeah, sugar is the second highest ingredient in this content. Then it says pear, grape and orange juice concentrates. Citric acid, pineapple and juice flavors, and natural flavors. Hmm. Yeah, don't eat cap don't don't uh don't eat lunchables every day, but uh once in a while, it's not that bad for you. And yeah, that's a uh, that's a Super Mario Maker. That's this. This is this is the Lunchable. And uh, in case you missed the code before, I'll put it up again. There you go. That's the best I can get, guys. So I will be looking into the other. Lunchables they have. There's a Pokemon one, and there's actually a Yoshi one. I believe the other one I did was Mario Kart earlier. So this was uh, this was not really that different. I think the Mario Kart one was pizza, or it was actually the same thing I just ate, which was turkey and cheese with uh, Reese's Peanut Butter Cups. Lunchables isn't very known for its diversity in its food, but as far as the portion controls go, I mean, 330 for lunch, it's not bad. Uh, the sodium, 560 milligrams. Yeah, it's a little high, but it's not It's not horribly high. Uh, I think I've seen 7-Eleven sandwiches higher than that. Um, 25 grams of sugar. Usually you want about a third of your um, carbohydrates, probably less, like maybe more like 10% to be sugar. So that's... That's not terrible, but it almost this almost is like your daily value of, of sugar. So I guess if you have this and the Reese's Cup, then you're pretty much, you're kind of done on sugar. But anyway, thank you for watching. I'll be sure to post more about this. So I'll see you guys again soon. Thank you for watching once again. Bye.